Hello everyone, welcome to a new reading. Today we are going to do a girlfriend reading for Sakura to figure out what type of girlfriend she will be. And let's just jump into this reading to answer her to answer the question of what type of girlfriend will Sakura be like. So to start off with her general energy, we have beaver, which is a water element, and we have dolphin, which is also a water element. This tells me that Sakura is a type of person that is super sensitive, super receptive, creative, spiritual, and she has a very big heart. She is also someone that is quite emotional as well. She, she's super in tune with her heart. Now with a beaver, this tells me that she's also someone that builds up walls, so she would be the type of girlfriend that can be a bit overwhelming with her emotions so i don't think she will do very well with someone that is very cold and distant or if they are they have to be super understanding of this part of herself where she kind of bears open her heart the beaver makes me think of someone that for survival they put their walls up so she could be quite guarded but in the inside she is filled with an overwhelming amount of emotions they are not necessarily supposed to all be quite negative or overwhelming in a negative way of being burdensome as much as they could just be too much at once. So I don't think she will do too well with someone that can't understand this part of her that feels very deeply and a lot. So this makes me think of someone that, because beavers build dams, right? So this makes me think that she is someone that kind of just bears her heart out all at once so she could be someone that kind of enters love very quickly or when she feels comfortable with whoever she's dating she will just kind of show this emotional part of her and be super vulnerable with whoever she's with as a sign of trust and i do feel that it could be quite a lot to take in at once so whoever she's with should be someone that can handle this but i don't know how well she picks her partners now, with a dolphin, this tells me that she is someone that is very lighthearted, fun to be with, someone that likes to have fun. Also, she's very smart. Oh, the other thing that I wanted to mention with the beaver is that her hearing is very sensitive. Because I was watching a video of like a beaver that was like like munching on a tree, and they stop. Apparently, they stop once in a while so they can listen to the wind. So they apparently so they have an idea of where the tree is gonna fall so no one gets in the way. Uh, I don't know how true this is. I just I mean I was in social media, but I didn't do any more research besides what I saw that right there and then. So I don't know if this is like a hundred percent true, but for the sake of her reading, she is her hearing is very in tuned or is very sensitive. So she's she could literally have a very good sense of hearing. Or she's just very good at picking up people's intentions when they talk. Uh, I have a feeling I may have gotten something along these lines in her individual reading, actually. Um, so, I don't remember entirely, but if you guys do remember, let me know in the comments. So she is someone that when someone speaks or when someone says something, she can detect their intentions right away. So this also applies in dating. When someone's speaking to her, She's able to tell right away if their words match their actions and what intentions their words are coming from. If it comes from a pure heart or if it comes with uh, alternative intentions. Is that the word? Alternate? Well, that they have alternative motives. There you go. That's what I was looking for. Um, now with the dolphin. She is very smart, very intelligent. She is quite goofy, quite silly. She may have maybe a bit of a childish sense of humor. And she's someone that likes to have fun and enjoy her time. With the dolphin, this tells me that she likes to like jump around, dance, have fun. She can be quite lighthearted. So her emotions can be a lot at once. But she's still the type of girlfriend that is quite lighthearted with her emotions. So very happy, very content, very caring, very kind. And also with this dolphin, it tells me that she likes to travel in groups or she is all about taking care of her community or taking care of the people that she cares about.
lastly, before we reach like the oracle and the tarot, I wanted to mention that I was looking at this dense forest surrounding the beaver, and that makes me think because I was looking at the contrast of like the dark, dense forest by the viewer and then the super light environment that the dolphin is in so this makes me think that she's a type of girlfriend that she can be quite dense sometimes so if she's talking to someone she will not she might not be able to pick up on the cues that they're like fl flirting with her or want to be in a relationship with her as long as this person doesn't have bad intentions she's not going to bother too much trying to figure out if they're hiding something so what i mean by that is like she could talk to someone that has like a crush on her but they don't really want to like express it and they don't do it outright but they're like dropping hints here and there like kind of flirting with her and so so she might be able to tell that this person is not being like completely honest with her but since she doesn't detect any bad intentions she's not gonna pry or she doesn't really care to figure out what it is that they're hiding so I do feel that this is where she can be a bit dense when it comes to relationships. Like someone could be flirting with her, but they're not saying it outright. They're not completely blunt about it. And because of that, she will be so dense that unless this person is very straightforward with her and tells, that, and tells her that they want to date her and that they want to be with her in a romantic way, I don't think Sakura is going to figure it out. I think it's going to go right over her head. Again, as long as someone doesn't have bad intentions, she does. I don't think she will go out of her way to figure out what someone is hiding. Even though she may be very good at reading people. Now, with the first oracle card that we have here is a card called Witch with the key with a phrase of the magic you seek is inside of you. Let it flow. And to clarify that card, we have the seven of crystals or the seven of pentacles. Here we have options and results. So, what does this say? With the witch card, this just shows that she's very spiritual. She's very in tuned. She is very connected to her subconscious side or very connected to the other world. This other world being like the spiritual realm or the 5D. Um, this makes me, this hands make me think of like a portal and this crow makes me think of someone that is very knowledgeable, someone that is very smart, which we saw earlier with a dolphin. And this moon just makes me think of someone that is connected to their intuition, their emotions and their spirituality. This tells me that she's a type of girlfriend that, uh, she may be into the occult or she could be a bit superstitious or she's just very, very intuitive. So this also tells me that she is very good at knowing herself and finding the answers within herself very quickly. If anything, she just needs to continue working on her confidence. Um, and I don't know if this confidence just boils down like in general her personality or it's like confidence in the skills that she has with her intuition. That could also be it. So with let it flow, that just kind of shows like, you know, going with the flow, allowing for things to just happen naturally. So not putting any resistance to this talent and skills that she has within her. Now with the seven of crystals, which is the equivalent to the seven of pentacles or the seven of coins, just describes that she needs to be very patient with herself. So she's a type of girlfriend that is still going through her own journey and still learning. She is actually very patient with whoever she's going to date. So if that person is also healing and growing, she will be totally okay with them going through their own journey if anything she will be able to provide a little bit of insight with her intuition and the seven of crystals just tells me that she's someone that is very very patient she is a type of person that when that can handle long-term relationships long distance relationship or she can handle long lasting projects in general um because the seven of pentacles or the seven of crystals in this case is supposed to describe someone that is like they have planted the fruits of their hard labor and now they just have to wait for it to bear fruit like they just have to wait for their hard work to like pay off basically and because of that i do feel that she's a type of girlfriend that plans things out or she does things and she is okay if she has to wait a bit of time for things to kind of come to fruition or for things to kind of play out accordingly so this tells me that she could be also intuitive enough that she is able to think of the right investments and when i mean investments of course i could be actually talking about money and business but i do feel investments is just like anything related to 
having to put energy time and effort into something is an investment so that's kind of what i mean here is like she's very good at figuring out where to spend her time and her energy and her knowledge on in regards to anything in her life so this also includes relationships she's very good at figuring out who is worth dating and worth just boils down to whatever she's looking for in a relationship and what expectations she is going in when starting a relationship so she will be the type of girlfriend that's very understanding and patient and she's also the type of person that seems to be very good at just reading whoever she's dating like whoever she's dating is going to feel super vulnerable or open when they're in front of sakura because she's just very good at reading people so whoever she's with will just feel like they can't lie to her and that there's it will be to their benefit to be very honest to her also because if she's a bit dense then instead of being around the bush it will be better to just kind of be blunt and right about whatever whoever she's dating wants to communicate to her now the other card now the other card that we have here is number 11 with flashover it's all in your head so this makes me think of someone that is overthinking this shows that she's a type of girlfriend that has a lot on her mind she could be she could seem as a bit aloof or a bit of a dreamer so she's not like fully present in her everyday life and the reason is that she could i don't remember what sign like what her sun sign is uh, but she if she's a water sign this could explain all of like this like she's not super grounded her feet are not on the floor on the floor on the ground so she feels kind of hard to catch or she like sakura just has the energy that she is constantly dreaming constantly in the spiritual world and because of that she feels a bit disconnected from her physical body or disconnected from her present moment because she's always visualizing imagining and feeling and because of that this flashover just makes me think that she could be prone to overthinking or she could always she's a type of girlfriend that always feels a bit ethereal or magical because it always feels like she's not present but it also feels like she's always aiming to make or accomplish big things in her life now the card to clarify the flashover is the three of feathers reverse or the three of swords reverse which is a very good card to have reversed her overthinking is not it does not come from a place of baggage or pain because the three of feathers or the three of swords usually talks about heartache heart pain it usually describes it shows like this heart that has three swords like pierced into it and it's supposed to show someone that is in a lot of emotional pain and one of the benefits of having the three of feathers reverse is showing like the opposite of this pain is that sakura is very good at overcoming and healing difficult moments of her life challenging moments of her life and she has worked through her baggage so even though she is still in the process of healing because healing is a constant battle a constant routine uh, even if someone has overcome a challenge from their past because of how cycles work it's going to come back again and that doesn't mean that this cycle will make that individual experience this challenge again as much as it's like the thought of and the reminder of such a difficult period in their life could trigger the same emotions that they felt at that moment and it can feel overwhelming if you don't realize that healing is the type of thing that sometimes your wounds are going to come back up they're going to resurface and part of healing is just knowing that everything will be okay not in a toxic way of dismissing the pain or dismissing troubles but more from the place of like yes being aware that this is challenging difficult and maybe even a trigger but that part of healing is being able to understand that despite that you'll be okay despite that everything will be fine despite all of that part of healing is being able to overcome that so i do feel that this just kind of shows that the three of feathers reverse is just kind of saying that she's a type of girlfriend that is very good at overcoming challenges and troubles and is very good at 
healing past experiences that could have been overwhelming to her at the time but she's constantly transforming changing and becoming a better person there is this very hopeful message because here we have a month so this makes me think yeah it's a month it makes me think that sakura is a type of girlfriend that even if she doesn't feel super present She's constantly working on staying grounded, being comfortable, and healing. So she's always transforming to become a better version of herself that is constantly healing any issues from the past. Also, with this flashover tells me that her overthinking doesn't necessarily come from a place of pain or trouble as much as it just comes from an overactive imagination a lot of creativity and a super strong connection from her crown chakra to the spirit realm. This just also shows that she is naturally in the state of dreaminess and not so much a, a escape. She's like she's not, she doesn't have an escapism type of mentality as much as this is just kind of her nature. So she's not running away from anything. It's just kind of difficult for her to be in the present moment. Um, I do feel that that's not really her nature. She may have a overactive crown chakra and she may need to work a bit more on her root chakra which will help her be a bit more aware of her present moment and be a bit more connected to the tangible physical world that she lives in well that we all live in in earth right on earth in earth on on earth anyway the other cards that we have right here with doable the key it says the key is within your grasp and to clarify it, we have the Knight of Acorns Reverse or the Knight of Wands Reverse. This tells me that she is a type of girlfriend that hesitates quite a bit. She may be a bit of a hopeless romantic with all the water that we have right here. but she, And she is a bit of a dreamer with the witch in the flashover that we saw earlier. However, with the doable, it makes me think that she is quite hesitant or she's not much of an initiator. She's not the one that likes to take the first step. In anything in her life, she may be the type of person that hesitates quite a bit before making decisions and before taking action. The Knight of Acorns, here we have a boar, I think. And it's supposed to describe someone that is moving quite quickly in their life. Someone that is quite optimistic, because it's a terrorist energy. So someone that is quite optimistic, very flexible, very energetic and happy. And someone that is moving very quickly. And not necessarily reckless, but moving very fast. It's someone that is ready to go on an adventure, ready to explore the world, and is ready to just learn about new things in their life. And this makes me think with this card being reversed that Sakura is the type of girlfriend that she likes to do a lot for whoever she's dating. She likes to be a comfort place for the person that she's dating. However, she is quite hesitant, so she may not be the one initiating the relationship. She may not be the one that will push for the relationship to go through. She will just, she's a bit more receptive, so if someone wants to date her, they have to be straightforward with her and let her know so that she can make her decision if she wants to be with them or not. But if it came for her part, if she were to have a crush on someone, she will just kind of imagine the romance and the beautiful life she could have with this person rather than actually taking action and making it a reality. I, again, I don't know what her sun sign is. I, like, I totally forgot. Um, but her sun sign could give us a better idea if she will take action or not. But at least from the cards here, it shows that she hesitates quite a bit before taking action. But if someone were to kind of like enter her life and was very honest saying that they want to have a relationship with her, I, I do feel that she will definitely like consider it and that could get things moving a bit better than if she, everything was just left up to her. I do feel that she's not someone that really takes action. I do feel that there's still a lot of healing and work that she's doing for herself that could get in the way of her prioritizing any relationship in her life. Romantic relationships specifically. But yeah, with the key is within your grasp, it also tells me that she could be working on big projects or um, just she may be working on personal projects as well. But those take a lot of time and energy from her. So I don't think she's really looking into relationships. If, even though she may dream about a romantic relationship. The Knight of Acorns Reverse just also tells me that she likes to do things one step at a time so maybe she's the type of person that likes to try new things and go on adventures and just learn from experiences but she's not reckless and she doesn't move very quickly so that could explain why the knight of acorns here is reversed it's like 
she can definitely identify with the energetic optimistic side of this card and with a card that with the whole thing of like desiring adventure and exploring the unknown but she can't really relate with a whole thing of like taking action on that impulse or taking action on wanting to learn from experience and just going with the flow and going on a journey so she's a bit more hesitant in that sense so this just kind of shows that she's a very intuitive girlfriend she's a bit of a dreamer or a visualizer so she's not like fully present and grounded and she is someone that is extremely patient so be because of her patience she's not someone that will rush into relationships she's not the type of person that will rush into a project or in her work and she is someone that is constantly healing and constantly grounding herself and going into these transformations of um that she's not afraid of looking at the ugly side of herself so doing shadow work and just healing so yeah this just kind of shows that she's the type of person the type of girlfriend that has a long journey and is not really prioritizing relationships but she will definitely consider one because i do think that she does desire to feel and experience a romantic relationship however i don't think she's actively looking for it or pursuing it so if someone wants to date her it will be up to them to kind of get the ball rolling to get things going so yeah so this doable card just tells me that if she wants a relationship she can totally make it happen and if she wants to accomplish anything in her life, she can make it happen. However, she takes things once at a, a time. She's not in a rush to get anything done. And because of that, this Knight of Acorns Reverse just kind of shows that she's slowly but steadily moving forward in her life. So I do feel that this doesn't really talk much about her love life as much as this is just kind of where she's at right now as a person. But... Even though this doesn't really show much of what type of girlfriend she is, it does show what type of person she is, which of course connects with what type of girlfriend she will be for whoever she's dating. We the most that we got for Sakura was the was that she will be a very comfortable person to be around because not only will she be very happy and connected to her emotions, but since she's healing so much, she will be able to be super understanding for someone that is also going through a healing process or going through their own shadow work and their own journey if anything she might be able to help them from her spiritual knowledge or her spiritual nature now i'm not saying that she's super aware of the spiritual side of her because i don't know how in tune she could be to this but she is definitely someone that and by nature is connected to her intuition, to her creative side, to her spirituality. So it kind of comes by effortlessly. Anyway, I hope you guys like this reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This reading felt more of like a current energy, like how, like a checkup on like how she's doing rather than like what type of girlfriend she will be. But as I mentioned, her healing journey and her whole like this is how she's doing right now and this is a person that she is will of course apply to the type of person she will be if she were a girlfriend right because she will be herself as a girlfriend right if anything this doesn't some it, it happens like this sometimes some um girlfriend boyfriend readings tell us what type of romance they look forward to other people do answer the question and what type of like partner they will be and other people kind of just show the type of person they want as a partner in this case for sakura we kind of just got like this is where she's at right now in life this is what she's working on and this is what she's like prioritizing so i don't think she's really looking for a relationship but i think she is open to it if it were to stumble upon in her life of course for if someone that she sees herself having a relationship were to enter her life so yeah I hope you guys liked this reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys on the next one whenever that is, however that is. Thank you for all the love and support you have shown me and my channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Love and healing from my part to you. And bye.